Welcome back, Rankers. Got to tell you, I'm loving the Penguin, and that's the Google Penguin update. We've had massive amounts of inquiries and questions over the last week, over the last 10 days, from people all over the world wanting their rankings fixed because of the employment of dodgy, spammy backlink techniques in the past. So, there's also been a lot of talk I've noticed recently. Everyone seems to be commenting, every SEO, uh, as you would expect, seems to be commenting on what they thought the Penguin update was. And I've seen some really curious, I guess, explanations of what the Penguin update was. And some people are saying, you know, it's probably only a small percentage was about backlinks, another percentage was about anchor text, and another percentage was about this. All I would ask you to do, if you've got any, if someone is saying to you right now, you know, it's not really about backlinks. My guess is they've probably got a vested interest in selling you backlinks like, you know, there's companies that are still doing this thing where they say, you know, we're going to create a minimum of 55 rewritten versions of articles from maybe 10 that we've already written. I mean, this technique is a junky technique. And no disrespect to this company, I'm not going to tell you who they are. But as far as I'm concerned, the idea that we're creating one piece of content and we're going to churn it out into 10, 50 pieces of other, other content is just a nonsense. It's just trying to trick Google, right? And what was Google trying to do? It was saying one of the things that we're going to do is punish sites that have obvious content that's low quality, that's probably been, they've actually used the word, spun beyond recognition. So they understand this technique. Now, people say, well, that doesn't prove that they're actually punishing the backlinks. Well, think about it. They're saying that they're punishing spun content. Well, this page here would not have ranked for the phrases that it has linked on it. This page here was set up, and I'm talking about this the spammy thing, was set up to link back to a parent site, if you like, or a target site, because that's why these piece, that's why these companies will go and do 50 spun articles. It's just about the backlinks to your target page on your site. All right. So please don't have any doubt whatsoever that this change was about spammy backlinking. So to the questions. This is from Stefan from France. Hi, Stefan. Congratulations on your uh, new president, I think. Good luck. I don't know. Hi, Jim. I have seen your videos and must say I should have found you before to avoid the trouble now. I have some questions. Bad backlinks, can I remove them easy? Well, it depends on how you got them. If you paid someone to get those backlinks for you, go to that same person, pay them some more money, it's worth every cent to get them all removed. In fact, I could see this as a new business model for all those backlinkers on the subcontinent and elsewhere that scratch out a living buying and setting up backlinks. You know what you should be doing now? You should be going and charging a premium to remove those backlinks. I know it's almost extortion, but there's a business model there. How can I get? How can I check all the links? Do you have uh, advice or a software? Well, I would start with Google Webmaster Tools, and Google Webmaster Tools has just changed in the last 48 hours. Where if you go into it now, into the the section under the main menu here, you will see these links have all changed. You've got configuration, health traffic and optimization. What you need to go and have a look at is traffic and then links to your site. And what you're looking for is things like this. Uh, any URL that has the word links or SEO or submit or anything like that in it, because that can mean or be a sign of uh, a spammy backlinking technique. So yeah. Go and do that. The other one I would use is probably MajesticSEO.com, uh, which is quite good. It will go and pick up a lot of the links because quite often Google Webmaster Tools can be a bit slow. Can I get back to my old ranking? Hopefully. Depends, depends on how bad the backlinks is. See, there is one school of thought that maybe the backlinks, they were, it's not actually a penalty. It's just degraded uh, the value that those dodgy backlinks were giving. And I'm more inclined to believe that because I haven't seen things de-indexed or taken straight out of the Google index. They're still in there. So I'm thinking maybe it's a case of, yeah, they're just 
devaluing the, link, the, the value that those links were providing. Does it create a problem that all my sites are with do follow links connected? If they actually, when you say do follow, if in the link it actually has rel equals do follow, yeah, I reckon that's going to be a big signal to Google that this is set up for some sort of um, spammy behavior. Uh, it, no, it will not matter if they are not no follow, though, if that's the question. Uh, my position in Google Webmaster Tools says I am the same, but I drop about 50 positions. Yeah, that is because Google Webmaster Tools will take an average of that position for that keyword. And what Stefan's talking about here is the query section uh, under uh, Google Webmaster Tools, where it tells you about the queries that you're being uh, visible for. So let's just say yesterday you were number one, and then tomorrow you became number 100. It's going to take an average of that position over the period of time that you're asking it to have a look at on the graph. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Um, he said also that he didn't receive an alert in Google Webmaster Tools. Not everybody did, and I've, I've heard a few people say this. And, and he's talking about the alerts that went out back in March, towards the end of March, and then about a month later we had this hit. Uh, content in online shop like Presto Shop or online store is not easy with no customer. I would imagine not. Uh, like to read a page with product description, do you have advice? Yeah, you have to rephrase that question for me, Stefan. I'm not 100% sure what you mean there. Uh, I'm not an SEO expert, learning by doing, and Google hits me for that. I agree. Mm, okay. Good luck. Now, the next question that we've had heaps this week is about... Um, Google bowling, or the technique that we used to refer to as Google bowling. And that was the idea that, well, hang on, if it's about dodgy backlinks, what's to stop someone, like my competitor, just going and buying thousands and thousands and thousands of dodgy backlinks and pointing them at my site? In fact, why don't I do that to my competitor? Well, according to Google... They are saying, no, you can't do that. We're pretty sure we've got that covered. They're not 100% confident in my book, though. Look, if you and I are thinking about it, they've already thought about it. I don't know how you could actually stop that going on. So I think eventually what we're going to have and what a lot of people want is in Webmaster Tools, the ability to say to Google in the backlink section, Google, ignore these backlinks. These aren't mine. I'm not interested in them. And that would seem like a, a good addition to the Google Webmaster Tools. But at the moment, Google says they've got it handled, but they've also, they have also say they've got click fraud handled in Google AdWords. And we all know that there's still ways to defraud with clicks. And I've seen it done. So... On, on your app, on, on clients' AdWords. I've said it done before. Um, now, the main thing here is, is that, and I'm seeing more than one SEO come out and talk about this. Okay, we're not going to do backlinks now. Here's the next technique. Look, you just got to stay away from all these techniques to get you ranked. It's about providing great content. It's about providing regular content. It's about having the site set up a way, in a way that Google can understand it and it's signposted well and it's not duplicating content and it's not a noisy site and it's not a broken site. It's about having the site running fast. It's about a high quality website that Google wants to send its users to for relevant searches. That's what it's about. It's not about techniques and and you know, buying backlinks and all these sorts of things. Sure, you're going to need some backlinks, but there are ways and means to get backlinks. For instance, we've talked about it before. Contribute to forums. Contribute to other people's blogs. Offer to write guest blog posts. Contribute to social media. The social signals are always important and going to be more important in the future. As someone said here today, you wouldn't go out and spam in social media because if you did, you'd get shut down pretty quickly. Well, you know, it's happening in search and Google's the one shutting you down. Now, if you start doing all these techniques, then you're going to end up with all these poor sods at change.org with their 943 signatures out of 1,000 to get Google to take or roll back their update. A very sad lot. You don't want to, you don't want to be there, okay? So 
just go with known things that Google likes. If Google was your search engine, always, ask, and I've been asking myself this from the very day that I started doing SEO. People say, oh, don't do that, that's going to get you banned. I think, well, hang on a second. How would I feel if this was my search engine? How would I feel about this page? And if you can honestly say to yourself, well, I can see a logical reason why that I would do that. And I'll give you an example. I've seen a lot of people this week talk about, oh, you've got to decrease all the anchor text across your site. The, the idea that you're linking keywords within your site to other pages, that, that's what this update's all about. Baloney. It's not about that. And I can tell you why. Because we do that on our site. We have a plugin on it. It's a WordPress site. And we install it on other clients' sites. And basically, if you're writing a blog post and you happen to use a, a certain phrase that this plugin recognizes, it will link it to the required page on your site. Now, think about it. Now, the reason I know that that's not dodgy and Google hasn't punished that is because our rankings went up and our traffic's nearly doubled in the last 10 days. Okay? So it's not that. And you think about it, if you ask yourself that question, why would that technique be not dodgy? Well, it's a technique to um, show Google that you, know, you want those, those keywords ranked. Well, yeah, maybe. But what about Wikipedia? Hello, they're still in the index. That's all they do. That idea of linking a keyword within your own site to another page makes perfect sense for the user. If you're talking about a previous blog post, if you're talking about the Google algorithm and you want to see all the, uh, the main article on the Google algorithm, you might link that. If Whatever it might be, there are good reasons to link things. Can you overdo it? Sure. But don't get hysterical about these things. Don't think about it as the technician of it's got to be 10% backlinks, it's got to be 5% re relevant content, it's got to be three. Don't do it. Just think about it. If this, was my if this was my search engine, how would I view this page? Would I like it? Would I rank it? And if the answer is no, don't do it. If the answer is yes, publish. It's as simple as that. And that is it for this week's show. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.